Welcome to the SiteHQ Temporary Fence Installation Video. SiteHQ is an Australian, family-owned company providing a wide range of products for construction sites and events at the click of a button. Why not check out our range at sitehq.com.au. In this video, we're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process for installing temporary fence. You won't need a lot of tools to install your temporary fencing. All you need is an impact driver with a 16mm deep socket and a good pair of gloves. Now you have all your fencing and tools on site, let's go through the simple steps to install your temporary fencing. First, you need to identify the crossover point. This is where you want your gate to be positioned. The best place to put the gate is on a corner of the site, but if you want it in another spot, simply continue installing panels and start the process of installing the gate in the location you need it. So let's start with the gate installation on the corner of the site. Place the first foot on the right side corner boundary making sure the foot is running perpendicular to the line of the front fence. Then, place the right hand gate panel into the front hole of the foot, ensuring the panel runs in line with the front fence. Place the return panel in the other hole of the first foot, running 90 degrees from the gate panel. Secure the other end of the return panel by placing it into a foot. Place the next foot perpendicular to the fence line, roughly where the left hand gate panel will end. It's a common mistake to run the foot the other way, with the holes running along the fence line. Setting the foot this way will severely reduce the stability of your temporary fence and make it prone to falling over. Place the left hand gate panel into the rear hole of the foot. Slide the left gate panel with the foot to line up with the gate panels so that the vertical pipes in the middle of the gateway are touching or overlapping. There is no foot between these two gate panels. Place the next panel in the front hole of the foot. You'll see how the panels sit behind each other. Place the next foot at the end of that panel. Panels should be in the front hole of both feet and staggered front and rear all the way to the end of the fence line. To install the gate in the middle of your block, follow the same steps we used for the gateway but without the return panel. You may need to consider support stay bracing to help support the gate. Continue to build the fence following the same steps until you get one or less than one panel distance away from the side fence line. Place the last front foot on the left side corner boundary. Again, making sure the foot is running perpendicular to the line of the front fence. Install the front left corner panel in the front hole of the foot. This may not line up with your second last foot hole, but it needs to be in the front hole to allow for the return panel. Make sure you leave the panel slightly open to give you access to install the left boundary return panel. You should always install return panels to the temporary fence on both sides of the property for stability, regardless if there is a permanent fence there or not. Now you can follow the same process along the side boundaries for the full length of the site, or until you overlap any existing fencing. Your last panel may have overlapped past the second last foot, and this is okay. We will show you how to secure this panel. To secure the overlapping panel, take two clamps and clamp the top and bottom horizontal bars to each other. This can be a touch tricky, but it's important there is a clamp at the top and bottom. Now we secure the panels with the clamps. Simply drop the clamps over the fence poles and tighten them. Clamps can be installed as you build the fence and we recommend this on days that are windy, but in most cases, they can be installed last. Now let's hinge the gates. For gate hinges, you can use either a standard temporary fence clamp or a specific gate hinge. The gate will swing more freely with a gate hinge, which is something to keep in mind. And there you have it, your temporary fence is now installed. If you need to lock the side up, we recommend using a lock and chain on the gate. The gate we have installed allows access for people and vehicles. However, if you only need to install a pedestrian gate, you can easily install a pedestrian gate by using the same process as a standard panel. If all you need is access for people, this option is recommended. We hope you now have all the knowledge you need to install your temporary fence. For more temporary fence accessories, check out our guide to temporary fencing video.